Hi, welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be solving uh, a problem that uh, one of my viewers suggested in the comments. It's the integral from 0 to 1 of exponent negative x squared dx. Now this is a very uh, famous and common integral. If you're familiar with probability and statistics, this actually appears to be kind of a Gaussian distribution uh, kind of function. Only that here the limits are taken from 0 to 1 as opposed to negative infinity to positive infinity, which is the way that it usually appears. So you'll actually find a lot of videos talking about this integral and how it is evaluated from negative infinity to positive infinity, mainly using the multivariate calculus trick where we actually change these rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates uh, and then, you know, reduce the problem to some kind of u substitution the problem with that though is that when you're dealing with limits like what we have here 0 to 1 uh, i find it hard at least to convert uh, all these limits perfectly to polar coordinates i mean to you know uh, to to the other side when i'm using polar coordinates perhaps if you know how to do that tell me in the comment section anyways the trick that I'm going to use here. Also, by the way, you can do this using the error function. I have not tried that before, especially with limits, but you can try that to see if you get the same answer as what I'm going to try out today. So the technique that I'm going to use here is to try and find an approximation to this integral. By the way, this is uh, this integral cannot be evaluated using the elementary techniques, you know, u sub, integration by parts, sort of things like that. So what I'm going to do is to try and find an approximation to this integral, and I'm going to do that by writing this function as a series. So let's begin with something that we are familiar with. Uh, we know that, oops, this is quite big. So we know that the exponential function, let me see this, Okay, so we know that the exponential function is described by the following series, the summation from n equals to 0 to infinity, infinity of x to the power n over n factorial. Okay, I could just write this down as when n is 0, that's 1. When n is 1, that's x. Uh, Okay, when n is 2, that's going to be x squared over 2 factorial. When n is 3, x cubed over 3 factorial. When n is 4, x to the power 4 over 4 factorial. I mean, and so on. The more terms you write out, the better the function is, the better the approximation, or the more accurate. So now that we know this, let's use it to find out what this is, e to the power negative x squared. All right, and this is going to be very easy because I'm just going to substitute for this x in this function here. So wherever there is x, I'm going to substitute it with negative x squared. Uh, so this is going to be 1 plus negative x squared, this here, plus negative x squared squared over 2 factorial, 2 factorial, uh, negative x squared to the power 3 over 3 factorial, negative x to the power, sorry, x squared to the power 4 over 4 factorial, and so on. So let's try to write this better by, you know, removing the extra powers here. So this is 1 minus x squared. Uh, this is going to be plus, yes, x to the power 4 over 2 factorial. This is going to be negative 1 to the power 3, that's negative 1. This is x to the power 6, divided by 3 factorial, right? Uh, this is going to be plus x to the power 8, divided by 4 factorial, and so on. So instead of integrating this function here, exponent of negative x, Instead of integrating this here, I'm simply going to integrate this and try to find an approximation to this integral, of course, from 0 to 1. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. 
You realize this is a simple polynomial that we know how to integrate. So let's go ahead with the integration. This is going to be x. Oops. So that's x minus x cubed uh, over 3 plus x to the power 5 over. So drop the power down here. 5 times 4 factorial minus x to the power 7 divide by uh, 7 times uh, 3 factorial. This is 2 factorial, is it? Yeah, so let's go to 2 factorial here. Sorry about that. Okay, plus x to the power 9 divide by 9 times 4 factorial and so on. So we're putting in limits from 0 to 1. And notice here that when I put in the lower limit, which is 0, everything is just going to be a 0. So I'll just put in the upper limit. Okay. Uh, so this is going to be, if I put in the upper limit, that's 1 minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5 times 2 factorial. That's 5 times 2, which is um, 10. Okay minus 1 over 7 times uh, 3 factorial is 6, so that's 42, plus 1 over 9 times 24, that's about 216, and so on. So this is my final solution here, uh, the integral of exponent negative x dx from 0 to 1. And uh, like I said, the more terms you add to this series, the better your approximation of the answer is going to be and um, so i think i'll just make a follow-up video if i actually you know find out a better way of doing this or a more accurate way uh, uh, but if you actually look at this maybe you can think about this uh, so if i can write this as uh, maybe the summation of from n equals to 0 to infinity. So I see there is negative, positive, negative, positive, kind of switching between one another. So I could write that as negative 1 to the power n. Then you've got odd numbers here, 3, 5, 7, 9. So that's 2n plus 1 to represent odd numbers. Just write that better, 2n plus 1. And then we've got the factorials here. So let's see for n equals to 0. Yep, that's going to be positive 1. This is going to be 1. Okay, for n equals to 1, this is going to be 1. Um, this is going to be 3. Yeah, so something you would want to think about is, uh, you know, what happens to this series as we go to, as we go to infinity. I mean, what value does it converge to? So that's something you may want to think about. But if you're not doing, uh, I mean, you could just stop here and try to evaluate what this is approximately equal to using a calculator. All right, thanks for watching this video. And um, if you've not subscribed to the channel, by the way, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up. And um, I'll see you in more videos. Thanks for watching. See you again.